Hello everybody. Um, this is a Try It Tuesday. Um, I'm going to do some little um, paperclip embellishments, but with fabric. Um, I've been meaning to do this for ages. I did some years ago, but I haven't done any for, for a while. Um, you can put these on safety pins and then put little tabs at the top. Um, but I haven't actually got any safety. Well, I have, but they're not big enough. So I wanted it about two inches because that's, you know, it's quite small to work with. So I'm going to do it that way. So I take a piece of fabric. This bit is, the underneath bit is the longest bit. But it's just got to make sure it goes through your paper clip. So whatever width it is. Um, mine is, I've done it one and a half by three. Okay, because I fold over about a quarter of an, half an inch. So all I do... Let me just put these in here. And I've got some really nice fabric. So, oh, I've got may have some of these are left over from Anne. Oh, my gosh. It's really bad. I can't remember her name. So, I've got one of these kits. That's it. <laughs> Anne Brooke. I couldn't remember her name then. And um, I got one of the, her kits ages ago. and But I made it into, well... I'm making it into a journal cover rather than a, a snippet roll. And I've got some, a few bits of fabric left, but a lot of this fabric is my own. So I just chopped up little bits, you know, or this is just scraps, like a lot of scrap ends and any scraps, really. But I will put the link to her um, YouTube channel because she does, honestly, she's got um, the tag 52 tag it or something like that where she's making tags and she's showing you stitches every week I, i'm i'm actually sort of doing it in and out but i'm not sharing that i'm doing it because it's something that i may do in the evening or you know something like that and this is the reason why i sort of wanted to do these because i thought if i put some together i can then go and add my stitches yeah and i sort of done this one this was on a tea, on that tea bag paper I made. I've, there was just one piece left, so I thought, oh, I'll add some fabric and stitch, machine stitched, and then hand stitch. And actually, I really like the feel of it. <laughs> I thought, oh, that would be nice. A whole, you know, like do loads of them, put them together, and make a journal cover. <laughs> but yeah, it'd take a while to do, I know. And then I thought, oh, I want to use some spring fabric colours, and because I do, I love fabric and i like the feel of it it's a very tactile thing so yeah anyway enough of that oh there's other people that have done similar you know to this this there's nothing new here at all i think roxy creations she does oh some wonderful things with fabric you know i, d I don't watch all their videos i haven't got the time i would love to but to be honest it's um you know Sometimes I just need to sort of like switch off from looking at the screen, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Right, so I just fold it over like that and then I'll glue down. This is three in one, but Fabri-Tac or any glue that you're, you know, use, that you use. Oh, I lost my voice then. So I'd, I sort of do them all like that. Yeah. And then you just cover those. I'm going to actually do them all. I'm going to do, I'm doing six, so I'll do three that way and three the other way. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, they're all stuck. I've also got some of this um, Asari silk. Bits of that can look quite not honestly. You can just get little bits that I'm and this is amazing. I've hoarded this, <laughs> but I just thought, do you know what? These little flowers look fantastic on here, so I'm going to use them. I used three of them, I haven't got actually anything else that I got out because I just love these so much. But just a button, a bit of stitching will do. Yeah, so they're sort of done. I do have a you know, I do have a backing thing like that, and then what I night to do is have that so it's over a minute um put that there like that that can go on can we no we'll do it that way what color is that yeah no it's got to be yellow sorry i'm looking at the 
um, colour scheme. This is green and that's going to go on like that. Yeah, and I, the, the frayed edges at the top cover the, the top of that. But just don't get any glue on there. <laughs> so you won't be able to get it on the page. So, yeah, I would use sort of... Um, fabric that you know is going to stick um stick but you got like i said if you want to stitch these you can and you could stitch them on here and then put them on that so it's back so all your stitching's covered yeah but i'm not going to stitch this one so and i want to show you how i make this one whereas the other ones i'm just gonna do the top layer yeah so like that and these, like I say, these are all tiny bits of fact, but fray, all frayed edges, yeah. And then just layer it like you do paper, exactly the same. I am going to, that's it, that's right. So I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I want all this quite raggedy, if you know what I mean. And you can put lace on them and everything, but I'm not really using it today. I'm going to just move that over a bit. I want to see a bit more of that colour. So that's like two plainish pieces. Well, that one's not, but this this is, that's what I meant. And then one patterned, which that go there. All frayed and then I had a little bit then I little yellow bit oh well oh no green it's like that little tiny piece and that can go down there in case it see the glue I've just put it in the middle so if you do see it the flower will cover it See like that, and I thought I'd put a button there, but I quite like to stitch that on and. Get you a little bit straighter, mate. And I thought that would go sort of there, which I will glue that down just a little bit for now and I'll put a stitch in it after. I want to show you what I mean with the colour and how it looks. Just on the top there. Okay. And when that's dry, I would just undo that a bit more. Right, I just want to show you what I mean, how it looks. Oh, okay. So, 
it's the wrong way around that one but if you see what I mean how that looks in there and again it's an added texture I hope you can see that I'm done. a little bit too far over there okay do you see what I mean um, and even on here don't go it sit on there quite nicely yeah So I'm going to do some more of those, different combinations perhaps. But I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do them on here. Yeah. And then I can add my little stitch in. I can't do it tonight because I'll be editing the, this, this video. And I've got to cut my son's hair. Oh, I'll just check the length a minute. So. That's fine. Okay, so I'm not going to glue it down. I'll just keep it there because it's quite stable when it's on that. Okay, now I've messed all this up now. <laughs> I was doing so well. I really was, but... Okay. Right, what we got? We want patterned. There it is. I've got some little pattern bits here. This is all these are like parts of a dress. That's nice. Um, parts of clothes, you know, bits of fabric. I do like my fabrics to fray, so. Go on there. I want some contrasting green, really. Here we go. It's a nice colour. Look at that one there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Right, what else shall we put on? That one's quite nice. Oh. I'm going to definitely have a bit of that. Right, I think a bit later. So this one, I'm not adding too much glue at all because I'm going to stitch it, yeah. Put some little stitches on, even some little crosses, anything. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle.
and there's another one yeah just put that one slightly onto to the side there okay the stitches on i won't add much to that one because that's quite full isn't it that but i like them because they're all raggedy if you know what i mean that was quite neat actually but okay Yeah, no, that's not going to work. I need um, something else in between. Oh, I didn't put a bit of lace on. I don't use a lot of lace and things like this, but I will. I'm just wondering whether to put a bit of something like that underneath. Okay, I think I will. Just a bit big. You gotta remember things, you know, they're quite dinky when you oh, um do things like this. You gotta remember how small everything's got to be. you with but i haven't stuck it on there yet if you know what i mean oh um that'll be all right when that's actually stuck down yeah and the button That one's quite nice. Mm. 
Okay, it's another one. Let's say I do all my sewing on that. Whatever. It might only be two little cross stitches or something like that, yeah? And then I would glue it on that. And then you've got it back to all your stitching then. All right, let's have a look. All right. I think I'll go that way. Okay. This is a bit flimsy, this one, but I liked it for the contrast. all the little bits up. <laughs> This is this bit here is really flimsy and it's hard to control. Now I know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> I guess get hold of it. <laughs> it's definitely got a mind of its own. <laughs> Do that. I'm going to need to wipe my hands. And that one goes there. Okay, so it's all similar sim um, contrast, you know what I mean? I actually think that that one's a little bit too light now, but I can just add it. What I'll do with that one is I'll add a bit of coffee to it, <laughs> just to tell it down or a bit of ink. Yeah, it's quite, I'm looking at it now and I think, oh, it's a bit bright. So I should have used a more of a coffee stained one, which I thought I had. Oh yeah, I have got one that that would have been all right. Oh, there's a little bit here that's a little bit lighter. Okay. 
Okay, I went ahead and done those two. And that's the other, that's those there. Okay, like I say, they're just um, a little tiny bit of glue just to tack them on, but I'll pull them off and stitch so I can um, stitch them later and then I will glue them on properly. Yeah. And also, I will um, make sure it's all frayed nicely. Like it's a little bit here that could do with a bit more, I think, like down here. So I shall just pull and that's a little bit wonky that one so I shall give it a trim and then a rough up <laughs> it's not coming out anymore so yep do that and then I'll give them a rough up as well I haven't got a button on that one. Right, okay, let's see what we got. Might have been because I need some smaller ones. Oh, well, I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to put thread in the buttons anyway. And sew them on. So, I'll just, oop, just tack that on for now. Uh, that's those and like that one you know needs a bit of pulling out and straightening up so that's all right but they're all ready to it looks very wonky only because of the tops a little bit skew with but that'll be fine and another one now and oh i got to do some um ink in that one isn't it because i thought that was a bit bright so I'm not sure how much I've got on here. Oh, it might be all right, actually. Let's tone that down a bit. Yep. That's fine. Let's say it's not, not on there properly yet. Okay, and that one definitely needs some bits pulling. Okay, and it's all sticking to me now. <laughs> all right, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, you'll see them in my journals. And uh, I think they're very nice big boys in the Happy Mail as well. So, yeah, I do. Right, okay then, thanks for watching and speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.